You could write 20 to 30% more business when you quote Earthquake on every homeowner's risk. Arrowhead General Insurance Agency. Get your insurance ready for the next big one. The wine industry is a large and diverse market and it just keeps growing. The U.S. is currently the largest winemaker in the world and new wineries are cropping up all the time, according to Deborah Costa, Vice President of Heffernan Insurance Brokers, which specializes in this niche. In this episode of Markets in Motion, Costa and St. Helena, California-based Duckhorn Winery President and CEO Alex Ryan discuss how the winery business operates, as well as what is expected from an insurance agent in making sure everything the winery does is covered. The wine business is a, is, a, is a collection of many different aspects. We're agriculture, obviously. We farm grapes, since we have inherent agricultural risk and the vagaries of agriculture itself. We're in, in manufacturers. We make wine with processing equipment and equipment raw products and the, uh, the, the typical supply chain elements of manufacturing, and we are in the entertainment business. The aspect in which we sell wine is inherently entertainment focused. So we have entertainment to retail and wholesale customers worldwide, and especially at our, at our winery facilities here in Napa. Our business is unique in that we're fully integrated from not only the land that the raw product is grown on, all the way through to selling at the retail level to the end consumer, and everything in between. In the manufacturing element, we have to uh, deal with um, the manufacturing risks and, and parts of our business. We have to manage supply chain issues. Agriculture, we we're, um, uh, have to deal with Mother Nature uh, year in and year out at the consumer level and the operational level. And then the sales part. We have agricultural workers out there. We have a lot of machinery, a lot of equipment, pesticides. The, when, work, when used correctly, work fine, but the, the, the potential for problems exists. And so not only do we work on training programs and safety programs, but having a good understanding of what could occur and protecting accordingly is very, very important. Costa says this class requires all the same insurance coverages as other businesses, but also more specialized coverage and high liability limits, and it's important agents know about all of them. You've got crop insurance, trellis and vines, chemical drift, you have liquor liability, you have specialty coverages to actually cover the wine. So you want to make sure that it's covered for leakage, for contamination, for any type of malicious product tampering. On the farming side, personal liability for owners that live on the property. Mistakes that we see repeatedly when we do audits and we review um, prospective new winery clients' insurance policies is really attention to detail. Uh, we see oftentimes a lot of gaps in coverage especially when um, carriers are changed and the policy forms change from one carrier to another. Ryan says they are not just farmers or winemakers, so they have many exposures, as well as strict alcoholic beverage distribution laws that have to be adhered to, so they need an insurance agent who understands all of these areas. Our insurance agent provides a lot of support in terms of programs, training, audits, and things like that. Um, we know our business. They come in kind of as an auditor to look over our business, provide um, um, examples of way to do things better or, or, or examples of, unfortunately, people they've seen have done things poorly and how that we can apply those lessons to what we're doing. Um, but I think it's really just, just, just broad-based resources as we can drill it down to my business and our people uh, is, is, a, is the, big, the biggest support that they can give us in the area of training and prevention. If they know what we're doing, they know how we operate, when something does occur, there's very few things except the issue at hand to deal with. It's a good business practice to make sure that um, your, your partners aren't surprised. We always want to meet with the owners and the management team to really get a good understanding of what their needs are and also what their appetite for risk is. We want to look at their fixed asset schedules. We also want to do a review of their current policies and coverage. We like to, whenever possible, do a tour of the properties. We, of course, like to taste the wine. And then we go back and we study the marketplace and put together the best coverage forms and options to bring back to, to our winery clients. 
I think the risks are, are pretty consistent throughout the different winery models, and it really just takes an understanding of what that particular production model looks like so that we can best identify the risks and make sure that they're covered adequately with all the different forms that are out there. Ultimately, Ryan and Costa say having a relationship with the insured is essential to making sure a winery is properly covered and will lead to success in this class. Our insurance agent has been with us for a long time, and that's critical. It's, it's a big, integrated business. So to, to, to be able to come in at the low price leader, to be able to come in quickly, would be very, very difficult to be a partner of ours. So their ability to stick with us, understand our business, grow with us, has helped us and them make good decisions. Agents and brokers who are getting into the wine business should understand that it is a very relationship-driven business. And the advice that I give to myself and our wine team is to be patient, continue learning, be a part of the community, and continue to build your own personal brand.